Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Covington, Kentucky with Cincinnati MC Press, who I like to call Skunk Ape. Why do I call him Skunk Ape? Well, here's the video to show you why. In this video, a public employee during one of Cincinnati MC's audits noticed something about him and just had to make a comment. You're not really teaching me. And from then on, he was dubbed the Skunk Ape Frauditor. For you could smell him a mile away. At any rate, he is uh, attempting to film postal employees doing their jobs at the local post office. Yeah, you really got to watch out for those tyrant postal workers. You never know when they might uh, slip up and deliver the mail to the wrong house. At any rate, guys, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, guys, we are here in Kentucky, in Covington, Kentucky. We're here at a pretty big post office, I would say myself. Good thing is, is I'm not seeing any no trespassing signs. So, we're going to be able to walk in there. We're definitely going to have plenty of employees to say something about it. He's already on his phone. As you can see, no trespassing signs. Where would we be without idiots like you coming on to post office property to make sure that the postal workers are doing their jobs. Oh, wait. There are already people on the property that uh, are making them do their jobs. They're called uh, managers. And these managers are not going to exactly be thrilled about some moron like you coming on to post office grounds and interrupting the workflow of everybody there. Go on, man. Yeah. Uh, checking all the vehicles. Oh, you're one of those guys. Hey, at least you know. You think you hear it more often, but you really don't. Yeah, he's one of those guys. He's one of those so called First Amendment auditors who are self proclaimed heroes of the Constitution. Yeah, one of those guys. One of those guys who just goes around bothering the average worker when they, if they wanted to actually do some changes, they would go straight to the top. But it's just so much easier to annoy the average worker than go up to the, uh, the top of the management heap and uh, annoy them because they would definitely be kicked out the door at that time. Back here with our clearance loading. If you want to come back when it's empty, that's fine, but I can't risk you getting run over by one of our carriers. Well, I'm, I'm good. I, I can be back here. I prefer if you weren't. But... Yeah. Hey, Skunk Ape, uh, you really don't need to be poking around these vehicles, inspecting them and everything like that. You never know what you're going to break when you touch it. But because, they, you know, they got, they've got mechanics that are quite capable of repairing these vehicles should they need maintenance. Uh, so can you tell us what your qualifications are when it comes to uh, mechanical jobs such as this? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't because you've always lived in your mommy's basement, so therefore you have no mechanical experience. You guys had no trespassing signs up, then I couldn't come back here, but there's no tres no trespassing signs. Yeah. 
He's old. Oh my god. For so what? You're on government property. Yeah, I know. I don't want to be on film. So You're a government employee. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine. You can't ask me to leave. This I'm is a government you. business. You can't ask. Well, I can't have you back here while I carry your mail. Well, I'll just be a second. I'm just checking all the vehicles. That's my right. Yeah, I do. Let me ask you something, dude. Do you also think Walmart is government funded? Because I've heard a lot of people say that it is. And, well, I know for a fact that it's a privately owned business to begin with. Which leads me to the next part of this question. If you believe that Walmart is a uh, government-funded operation, which I don't know what your opinion on that is, are you going to go into the back and start inspecting the... Uh, day-to-day -day operations of that store or do you think they'll just kick your sorry ass out the back door with prejudice well having worked for walmart myself I, i'm gonna say it's the latter they're gonna kick your sorry ass out the door which is what they are about to do to you here so make sure you're running this post office up to code you're running this post office up to Kelvin using you can't, tax. You can't film with Where's your our saying that you are checking in. You can't film with people's names and addresses on packages and things like that. I'm gonna have to ask you to go. I'm gonna keep filming. You have a great day. If you if you feel I'm doing anything wrong, call the police. They're gonna tell you the same thing. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good, good. You can film anywhere on the sidewalk you want. But you can't be in the line. If there was no trespassing signs up, I wouldn't come in here. But there's no there's no signs like that up here, so which gives it's me the right to come in the back here. No yeah, I know. I hundred percent government property. Okay. So because Go it's government property, it gives me the right to film. No. Yes. You, you got the right to film, but not on my lot. Go. I'm gonna keep filming. This is my right. So you're trying to enforce some sort of code to make sure that this place runs smoothly? Uh, what code exactly is, are, are you trying to enforce? Because something tells me that you don't know that code at all. In addition, can you point out the exact statute or something in the Constitution that gives you that right to come onto that property to begin with, unmolested by the uh, workers there. You do know that they also have the right to uh, trespass you from the property. Uh, you do know that, right? I mean, whether it's government property or private property or anything like that, they have that right. Trust me, you're not the first post office I've done this at. They all say I can't. Oh, you can. You just can't be in my lot. If you had no trespassing signs up, I'd agree with you. And I wouldn't have I came here, but you don't have that. You just have to leave, so. Who are you, if I may ask? I'm the postmaster. Postmaster? Yes, sir. I love when the postmasters are here. Sir, please leave the lot. When I'm done checking all the vehicles, I will leave the lot. Sir, please leave the lot. Well, the skunk ape finally left the property, but the police will be here shortly to resolve the issue. And uh, let me tell you something, it's not exactly going to work out in your favor, dude, because you stepped foot onto a piece of property, you were asked to leave numerous times, and therefore that could count as trespassing, which it's about to. Oh, here's my color. Good morning, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. Can I get your badge, and, uh, badge number and uh, name real quick? Yep. Officer Endicott, Covington Police. My badge number is 0290. I appreciate that. You're welcome. You're just doing an audit? Yeah, basically. Cool. All right. Yeah. Just made them feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, they tried to tell me that I can't go on there, but yeah. so unless they have a no trespassing sign. I'll walk in and yeah. I'll explain to them the Perfect. situation uh, and that this is a public sidewalk and you're not doing anything illegal. Well, I, even on the lot, too. Have you been on the lot? Yes, I can be on the lot, yeah. Okay. Unless they, so most post offices, if they 
don't want somebody on their lot, they're going to put up uh, the US no, US no trespassing no signs. Trespassing. And unless they have those signs up, I can go on the lot. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Walk right in there. But the moment they ask you to leave, you have to leave. Otherwise, it's considered trespassing. But you're too much of a moron to understand that anyway, because you've been arrested several times for the same offense, and you don't ever seem to learn. Do you understand? I'm not supposed to go past the threshold right here. I can go past it. After that, you're... I can. can film out here. That's I can. I can go into the parking lot. I do it all the time at other post offices. Well, the postmaster is saying he can yeah. say that, but it's public. Well, but they would have to put up no trespassing signs for me not saying, to be able to go up there. He's actually saying you'd be trespassing after that. No, I would so, not. So I've talked, talked to uh, plenty of postal inspectors myself. Okay. And they, this, the no, no trespassing sign that they need to keep me off the back property. I can go on the sidewalks inside, film what whatsoever, and. Anything I need, and if there's no trespassing signs, I can come to the back and check out the Inside vehicles. The public area. No, I'm talking in the public area too. Yeah. Yeah. You, in the back you're as not well. Supposed to be inside that area. That should no, be not not under there. But I'm saying on the parking lot back here, I can go in the parking lot. I won't go up into the yellow area. Yeah, about that issue about filming inside the post office itself. Uh, no, you can't, because I know what you frauditors do. You'll read that first sentence on the uh, passage, and then you'll ignore the other part of the sentence that says that you've got to have the postmaster's permission to do so. You just conveniently forget about that, don't you? On the dock. Are you talking this area here? I'm talking about the parking lot itself. I'm not talking about the dock. I can go in the parking lot, I don't go on the dock. I mean, if you're going to tell me if I go past there again, I'll be arrested, then I have no problem abiding by that. What's the matter? What happened to this strong man that walked in on the parking lot now you seem a bit afraid right there are you actually afraid that you might get arrested again well if you want to try your luck go for it i'm sure my audience would take great delight and pleasure in seeing you in a pair of shiny bracelets but unfortunately it doesn't happen this time because you knew when to give up at least this time but some days I know you just don't know when to quit. And believe me, there'll be that time when you end up with another pair of bracelets again. So is, I just need to make sure we're on the same page. Yeah, and that's yes. why I was trying to get clear yeah. definitive yeah. lines. Uh -huh. They don't want you past the gate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point, he has verbal address. Right? Even though there's no signs mm -hmm. as a postmaster and it being a government property, he's saying he doesn't want you past the gate. Okay. So let's abide by that, hang out on the sidewalks. Just, just to be one hundred percent clear. If I go back on that parking lot right here in this area, I will be arrested. Yes, because he's okay. verbally. That's, that's all I need. That's okay. that's perfect. That's all I need. Okay. Well, now skunk ape the uh, trespass and kicked out of another government facility. I've lost count of how many government facilities that you alone have been kicked out of. I mean, it's un freaking real. I have never been kicked out of a government facility in my life because well you know what i actually talk respectfully to everybody in there and get the services i require then i leave i don't antagonize but you guys you guys just gotta go in there push buttons and then get trespassed arrested and everything like that and just for clicks and views I mean, what is the point besides getting a whole lot of money out of it from your totally ignorant subscribers? At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.